in English. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could deliver this in all your languages. And you know, if this was Pentecost, if Pentecost, you would all understand it in your own language. But uh, uh, today, we'll do our best in English. You know, God's people, you and I, you and I have received abundant blessing, protection, and opportunity by God's grace. By God's grace. In return for this investment in each one of us, in each one of us personally, God expects us to accomplish His purposes in the world. All of us are important to God. And all of us are important to His purposes in the world. But none of us, none of us is so essential to the success of that purpose that we are irreplaceable. We are the vines in God's vineyard. And we come from a variety of nations and cultures and families. And we come together because God wants His garden. He wants His garden to blossom with so many beautiful flowers. And each one of us, each one of us is a flower in God's garden. A variety of flowers, a variety of cultures, a variety of nations represented because we can come together. The church in the Diocese of Cleveland has been so blessed over all these years because of the beauty you bring to our church. As I said, you are those flowers. You are the beauty that, that makes our church come alive. Come alive by your variety of cultures, by your variety of customs, by your variety of languages. We come alive. We're like that church at the first Pentecost. When the apostles came out after receiving the Spirit, the people gathered together. They all heard the apostles in their own language. As you celebrate in your own languages, on Sunday, and you come together today and, and share in the variety of languages that we've heard in the meetings, and we'll hear in the singing, and we'll hear in the tradition of the incense and the very variety of traditions. Our church is enriched. God has blessed us so much. And this gathering today is an opportunity for us to say thank you, God. Thank you, God, for preparing the Diocese of Cleveland to be your vineyard where we can grow, we can bring forth the blossoms and bring forth life to this church. As St. Paul said at the conclusion of that second reading, he said, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. My brothers and sisters, keep doing what you're doing, as St. Paul said. Be an inspiration to the church in Cleveland. Be a grace to the church in Cleveland. And as we continue this liturgy today, and we offer the Eucharist, and we offer those gifts that you present, we offer each one of you to the Lord. We offer each one of you to the Lord under the appearance of bread and wine, those gifts that are brought forward. And God takes those gifts, you and I, and He transforms us into the body and blood of His Son, which is presented to us in the Eucharist so that we can ensure ourselves that God dwells within us, that Jesus is within us, and we are the body of Christ. And as we leave these doors, and as we go to share another meal, we remember who we are. We are the body of Christ. A variety, a variety of cultures, a variety of, of, of customs, but nonetheless, we are one in Jesus Christ. And so, my brothers and sisters, again, I thank you for the opportunity of being with you today, of sharing this, and in the name of Bishop Lennon, in the name of all 
in the Diocese of Cleveland, in the name of your priests who are celebrating this Mass with me, I say thank you. You are special. You are special that each year, when Sister Rita Mary asked me if I would celebrate this Mass, I would say, let nothing come in the way, because I want to be here so that I can personally thank you for the grace that you bring into my life. So God bless you all, and let us now continue our celebration as we stand and profess our faith in unity.